But I want to start out by saying, um, I feel like this is going to be a great talk, and I feel that you are a going to be a great audience. <laughs> uh, um, besides the grandiosity of those statements, maybe you'll notice a, a, another problem with the way that they're constructed. Let me give you some other examples. Um, for example, um, uh, a patient of mine said, um, I definitely feel that they don't understand me, uh, referring to her parents. A football player uh, was quoted as saying, I feel like I'm ready to go against the best. A baseball player was quoted as saying, I feel like I am playing well. Almost anybody you talk to is going to say something like this, I feel that the president is great, or I feel that the president is awful. I heard a political commentator say recently, I feel that if you are attacked, um, I feel that if you feel that you are attacked, then that's reality. And during the presidential campaign, uh, this statement was made, all that matters is if you feel a certain way, then it's true. <laughs> and uh, the uh, political commentator I quoted also said, as many people do these days, which drives me crazy, perception is reality. <laughs> um, so let me explain what I see as the problem. Uh, these kinds of statements are so common that um, I both uh, find myself using them uh, and despair about the utility of uh, even addressing the issues. Um, but I'll try. To me, uh, what is happening in statements like that is that opinions are masquerading as feelings. And the problem with that is that feelings, um, which are lower order abstractions, um, are neither right nor wrong. They just are. Uh, whereas uh, opinions can be right or wrong uh, and can be disputed. But when opinions are identified as feelings, uh, there is no disputing them. And uh, their intensity, the intensity of the emotions around them uh, increases, and opinions um, uh, and discussions are intensified uh, and very difficult to resolve. In fact, they won't be resolved. With the, in the case of the football player who uh, said, um, uh, I feel like I'm ready to go against the best, we understand that to, to be an expression of self-confidence. It's, it's not a, in that way, it's not a big deal. Um, but a bigger problem uh, is when, for example, a spouse says to uh, the other spouse, um, I feel that you are to blame, talking about the problems that they're having disciplining their kids. The spouse then often replies, I feel, I feel that you are the problem, I feel that you don't discipline enough. Uh, I feel like I'm always the bad guy and that you don't support me. The issue becomes one of who's right and who's wrong. The feelings um, escalate. Arguments intensifies. There are hard feelings, resentments, and no resolution because when opinions are presented as feelings, there can be no resolution because Feelings just are, because each person just feels that way. In fact, if you push the person uh, who is talking that way, uh, well, what, what, what do you base that on? Eventually, they'll say, I just feel that way. And there's nothing more to be said. A bigger problem still is your friend says this, I feel that D Trump is doing a great job as president. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you disagree and say, how can you feel that way? I feel like he's destroying the country. Now you have a problem. Um, are, are you getting a feel for, for what I'm having to say? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe you're getting a feeling of recognition or maybe even uh, discomfort or as uh, a what's the problem reaction, 
um, or other kinds of reactions. I went through all those things preparing this, thinking, well, maybe this isn't really such a big deal. But the more I look at it, the more it seems to me that it really matters. So let me go a little deeper into how I see this or summarize it in a, in a more complete way. Um, feelings and opinions represent different levels of abstraction. Feelings are neither right nor wrong, while opinions may be uh, more or less correct or incorrect, depending on the evidence. Identifying opinions as feelings leads to an intensification of the opinions and then to an, occasion, an intensification of the feelings underlying those opinions in a circular manner, uh, leading to intransigence, absolutism, and dogmatism. In fact, I was thinking that uh, this, ex this way of looking at things may explain why psychologists who did a study on um, people's opinions found that if you present people with the facts, that they tend to dig in harder uh, with their opinions rather than uh, change them based on the facts. Because they feel that their feelings are being challenged rather than just their opinions. So what's the resolution? Um, or um, let me say it this way. The resolution is impossible if these kinds of statements are allowed to continue because of the confusion that occurs. So I believe that this seemingly simple and common and ubiquitous way of talking may have big repercussions on an individual, interpersonal, and society level. And finally, I'd just like to close with what can be done, sort of like you were saying, Ed. Um, even though I often despair, as I said in the beginning, that uh, this way of talking is so common and easy to slip into, um, and therefore easily overlooked, that because everybody talks that way, that it, it may be impossible to do anything. But I think there are things to do. First of all, as an individual, uh, you might try to catch yourself talking this way and substitute after the word feel some feeling, some emotion. I feel sad, angry, scared, something like that, um, rather than uh, expressing an opinion after that word. As a parent, a sibling, or a friend, etc., ask the other person if they talk that way, but well, what's the feeling that you have? What is the underlying feeling? Um, in therapy, I do push people, if they use the word feeling, to follow that by some emotion. Uh, and it helps a great deal, uh, because people then tend to be able to be more empathic, um, be able to understand each other, what, what really is bothering them, and are able to respond better uh, to one another. Um, as uh, Mike was saying, I hope that I think that we have some obligation or uh, responsibility to bring this to the public. Uh, if anybody thinks that it's worth, uh, agrees with me about the importance of this. Um, and uh, so I'm hoping that maybe we will be able to uh, become more active and publicize this small but maybe important kind of way of talking. Thank you very much. Uh,